25 years ago today, at this very moment, Metro Detroit was riding high, celebrating the Red Wings' first Stanley Cup win in over 40 years. It feels like it was yesterday in a lot of ways, and just a few hours after that, it would turn to tragedy. After a limo carrying Vladimir Konstantinov, Slava Fetisov, and Team Masur Sergei Manatsakhanov crashed along Woodward Avenue in Birmingham. Devin Scullion here now. As members of the team reflect on, on that faithful situation. Same thing, it's been 25 years, yeah. isn't it? Right. Uh, it seemed impossibly cruel. The long wait for the return of Lord Stanley's Cup was finally over. We were all walking on air, and that incredible feeling should have lasted all year. It lasted about six days. The most beautiful trophy in pro sports. Teams go through dry spells, of course. But for the 1997 Detroit Red Wings, the Stanley Cup drought was a Sahara of frustration. It had been 42 years since Hockey Town had won the most famous trophy of all. To the line. But it all came together. One of the greatest coaches in the history of sports, an elite captain, a goalie with a chip on his shoulder, and a grind line that seemed modeled on the city of Detroit itself. We got Kirk Maltby for a player that we weren't even going to keep. Uh, we signed Joey Koser, uh, actually out of a beer league. He came in and, and had a good comeback. There was one other extraordinary ingredient, a lineup of players from the former Soviet Union that played a brand of keep-away that made the Russian Five must-see TV. That's a very nice compliment so to, uh, uh, to the Russian style of hockey. So, but at the same time, uh, uh, you, can, uh, you can look around uh, in the locker room. You have a... Uh, so many players uh, and a very high caliber. To bring that brand of hockey, you know, to the NHL and to the Detroit Red Wings, it was special. I mean, some nights <laughs> we had the best seat in the house for some of those games, you know, just sitting there and you're just like, wow. A 3-0 series lead at home in the finals against the Flyers. The Red Wings had teased fans with close calls before, but it finally seemed real when grinder Darren McCarty delivered a sparkling goal that turned out to be the series winner. My line mate to this day, you know, one of my best friends. Uh, you know, I, I, I probably enjoy talking about the goal as much as he does. You know, it's just, it was awesome for him to do it. Steve Eisenman raises the chalice above his head. Hockey Town felt like the cup was finally back home. And on a sun splash day, Woodward Avenue, awash in red and white as far as you could see. And the city was ready for the best summer ever. It was all perfect until it wasn't. Just six days after hoisting the cup, after one last team celebration, a limousine crash on Woodward Avenue in Birmingham brought it all to an actual screeching halt. That's a tragedy you can't really describe because you know that's, uh, uh, I don't think it's a fair uh, sometimes in life uh, to have things like that because of that Vladi and Sergei and Slava, you know, they did everything right. Suddenly the big crowds had moved from the Joe to Beaumont Hospital. The prognosis was better for Slava Fetisov. In fact, he would play the next season. But things seemed very dire for Vladimir Konstantinov and Team Masur, Sergei Manatsikhanov. And the entire city listened when Team Captain Steve Iserman called them to prayer. We would ask everyone's support and everyone's prayers. Um, our organization is, is devastated. If he wasn't already, Konstantinov seemed poised to become the NHL's best defenseman. But after years and years of rehabilitation and recovery, he's now one of the symbols of what many see as a disastrous misstep with no-fault insurance reform in Michigan. Barring a change, Vladdy is losing the care on which he has relied these 25 years. It seems so unfair. Such immense triumph meeting with such crushing tragedy. Chris Draper says they are inseparable. He can't think of one without the other. You know, Vladi and Sergey are always in our in our thoughts. And you know, anytime you think about the Stanley Cup and winning in 1997, you know, it it is it is emotional because you get excited of the memories of when we won it. But then also, you know, like we are right now, just talking about the tragedy that that happened way too soon. And and it's something like I said that we'll never forget. And we always think about those guys. I think a lot of us feel that way. You really can't think of one without the other. But you know, there was something stunning that was still yet to come. Despite losing perhaps the league's best defenseman, despite the injuries to Slava Fetisov, despite a change in goal from Mike Vernon to Chris Osgood, 
The Wings would go on to win the cup again and again did it in a four game sweep this time on the road in Washington. I'm glad you mentioned how good he was too because it always would cross your mind. Wow. Can you imagine if we still had Vladdy uh, in those following incredible years. to think hey, he and Lindstrom back there <laughs> patrolling the same defense line. Yeah really something but 25 years burn right so shaking what happened so where were we Blink. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly we right. Yeah. right.